Welcome to Garfield Elementary. My name is Sarah Lindsay. I am the Preschool Reading Specialist Coach for Marion City Schools and a representative with Let's Read 20. I'm here today to give some parenting tips on how you can help your child at home and support that learning. Marion City Schools and Let's Read 20 have had the initiative of getting every child engaged in books either being read to or reading on their own for at least 20 minutes each day. Today I'm going to also show you some tips and ways you can help support this by, handle it, by book handling skills and doing some letter work. Let's go meet my preschool friend, Isabella. Hi, this is my friend Isabella. Isabella is one of the preschoolers with Marion City Schools. I'm going to be sharing a story with her that was donated from Let's Read 20. And my book is called Flitterific Fairies. Each one of the preschoolers in Marion City Schools will be receiving one of these books. It's Tinkerbell. It is Tinkerbell. Very good. That is one of the characters of the story. Good. Let's read our story. Pixie Hollow is home to many fairies. Each one has a special talent. When Tinkerbell first arrived in Pixie Hollow, the magical pixie dust well helped her discover her talent. So do you know anything about Tinkerbell? Uh, they fly with their wings. They do fly with their wings. Very good. Tinkerbell is a tinker fairy. She loves to tinker with spare parts, fix things that are broken, and invent new gadgets using lost things. Do you know what gadgets are? Uh, she fixes them. She fixes things. Say gadgets. Say gadgets. Gadgets. Let's clap gadgets. Gadgets. There's two parts to that word. Very good. Where are the words on this page? Um. Good job. Tinkerbell also loves to fly. She swoops and soars through the sky with her friends Terrence, Silver Mist, Iridessa, Fawn, Rosetta, and Videla. That's some funny stories of this, with them all flying together. The fairies of Pixie Hollow are in charge of bringing seasons to the mainland. They change winter to spring by helping the flowers bloom and teaching baby birds to fly. Do you know what the seasons are? Um, the birdies fly with their wings too. Yes, they do. But when we're talking about the seasons, there are four seasons. We have fall, winter, winter spring, spring, summer. summer. Let's clap summer. Good. Two parts to that word. We're going to talk about summer. Fairies of all talents work together. When the light fairy teams up with the water fairy, they make beautiful rainbows. They, uh, she gets it out of here. Very good. So we do have the rainbow there. Bedella is a fast flying fairy. She creates whirlwinds and summer breezes. She and Tinkerbell become good friends after an adventure on the mainland. Do you know what an adventure is? Uh, you walk. You could walk. And, and you could run. And you could run. Yes. Adventures are something exciting that you do, isn't it? Have you ever done an adventure? Have you ever taken a walk somewhere on an adventure? Yeah. Where have you walked? I walked to my mom's house. And I walk to my uh, grandpa and grandma's. Well, my grandpa and grandma's are far away. Yeah. Did you walk all the way? Okay. That would be an adventure, though, wouldn't it, if you had to walk that far? That's too hard. Queen Claritin is the ruler of all the fairies, and she is kind and understanding. There's a flower that they sent. Yes, you can see that sun glowing on there. You're doing a nice job talking about the story. With faith, trust, and pixie dust, Tinkerbell and her fairy friends can do anything. What was your favorite part of my story? All the fairies? Can you show me a favorite part? Part of the story that you like the best? Mm -hmm. 
you know, with the fairies flying. Yeah. Why do you like the part about the, fla the fairies flying? Uh, like their wings. You like their wings? Good. Very good. If I were to hand you this book, Isabella, could you show me where the front of our story is? Uh, Where's the front of the book? I put it right here. Very good. Nice job. And there's my title. As we did these activities, and you think about the books and stories, you don't have to do all the activities at one time. Making sure that you read and get that reading in with your child is the most important. But putting a couple activities in there can help increase your child's knowledge and support reading and learning at home. One of the activities that I have gathered today to go along with this story is maybe looking at letters of the alphabet. Isabella is my preschooler, so the first thing I'm going to start with is getting her to understand the letters in her name. So we will always start with that. Each parent will receive flashcards with the letters of the alphabet, as well as a linking chart that they can do at home. Okay, Isabella, we're starting with the letters of your name. What letter starts your name? What is that letter? I. I. I have some letters here. Can you show me that letter I? Great. Will you match it up on the letter I? Put it right on top. Good job. Do you know what letter comes next in your name? Do you remember the name of that letter? That would be the letter S. You have your first letter down, so now we would look at your next. Can you find the letter S on my page? Good. Will you put that on top? That's right. S starts like sun. Do you know what this letter is called? Uh, there's an egg. There is an egg. It starts like A. That's the letter E. Can you find the E? Mm. Good. Will you put this on top? Let's do one more letter for your name. Do you recognize any of those letters from your name? Look close. This is the letter B. This is in your name as well. B says B. Can you find that B? It does. It starts in that word fair. Nice job, Isabella. Working with letters with your child's name helps that child to take things from what is known to the unknown. Isabella has the I in her name, so our next steps would be to get her to understand the rest of the letters within her name first. Hitting the alphabet is always a great thing to take learning to that next level. Help support your child at home by working with the letters in their name. Thank you.